Well, hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another episode of Mowers and Blowers. Today is no exception. This is a mower. This is a brand new electric 80 volt dual blade um, lawn mower, push behind, self-propelled from my friends over at PowerSmart. As you know, recently I have done reviews on the PowerSmart uh, gas generator, as well as their uh, 80 volt dual stage snowblower recently. Uh, this is a their version of like a Toro Time Master, where it's a push behind lawnmower that's very wide so that you make less passes to clear your lawn. Uh, this is 24 inches, I wanna say. I'll show you the graphic. Let's unbox it for you right now. I hope there's not a lot of assembly required. There we go. Awesome. Rubber, plastic, synthetic combo wheel. Nice treads. And this is the folding quick release and um, clamping mechanism for its the handle. You have to get this a little slack. Otherwise, if you turn it too much, it'll break. And now I did too soup too low. There you go. So as you can see, it does move a little bit. So I'm gonna tighten these. They have jarred loose from shipping. There you go. So guys, it's a 26 wide, okay? Check this out. When I say it uh, mimics the uh, Time Master, Time Master from Toro Gas is also dual blades. As you can see here, dual blades, dual multi blades. Steel construction. And as you can see, it also includes the uh, side shoot deflector if you wanted to um, shoot out your leaves to the side. I like to mulch, so I never use this, but if you wanted to, you could, just by installing this deflector chute. Otherwise, it is completely enclosed. And then if you wanted to bag up your clippings, you would lift this out. This is what's called a mulch plug. It, it, defle it uh, prevents grass from going out the rear. You will place this on uh, the back here, close the door, and you're ready to mulch. But uh, right now I've got a lot of leaves on my lawn, so I want to pick it up with a bagger. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the mulch plug, have it closed there, and we'll attach the bagger. Very easy to install the bagger, lift up the door. This is your toe guard over here to prevent your foot from going underneath or backing into it. Just two areas here, you just place it right there, and there you go. Now you're ready to bag. This also has the one handle height adjustment. One handle will lift up your uh, mower to this height. If you have very long grass and you want to just take off an inch or two off the top, you put it at the highest level. If you want like golf course, really close cuts, all the way down to one where it's barely off the ground, so you can cut really close to your lawn. The standard one that I like to use is three, right in the middle. Uh, since uh, it's winter time here in Long Island, we don't have anything to cut because the grass isn't growing. However, I do have quite a bit of leaves. So we'll see how this sucks up. 
Like I said, this is the 80 volt version. The battery itself is about $250. How do you open it? How don't you read the instructions, Henry? No, I don't read instructions. Oh. <laughs> the whole thing comes up like that. Uh, okay, so you see where the things are on the bottom. Just slide this in. There we go, until you hear it click. Nice. Over here on the left-hand side, there's a plug where you would attach your garden hose to it. After you finish mowing, you wanna clean the bottom of your deck from any debris or uh, grass. So you just attach a garden hose here, start it up, and then the blades will spin along with the water, agitating the uh, grass clippings that are stuck on the bottom of your deck. That's how you clean it. Front wheels are a little bit smaller than the rear wheels. You want the high wheel in the back so you can turn well at uh, making turns. On this side is the flap opening and closing for the side deflector if you choose to use it. We talked about the securing the handles into your angle and also the telescoping, telescoping handle for your height. Here we have the controls here. This switch is the drive switch where you would click down for self propulsion. And this is the mowing switch. Turn this on for the blades to turn on. Over here, we have lights, power, power, lights, and a knob for switching in between speeds. A key in. This is for safety. Gotta put a key in. <laughs> Goes into a little slot right there. All right, let's see if this fires up. Power switch. And we are on. For safety reasons, you have to keep your finger on the power switch. Then engage the blades. I recently did a review on a backpack leaf blower. the leaves out so now we can test and see how strong it could pick up the leaves off my lawn so we're just gonna go one run and then I'll show you in time lapse As you can see, the first two paths were pretty good. It sucked up the leaves pretty fast. But then after two passes, it doesn't really pick up that much uh, leaves because I believe it's full. And it is. So because it's already full, you're not going to be able to um, suck up any more. So it, it builds up very quickly. There was a significant amount of leaves. Let's empty this. Whatever it is in your neighborhood, the policy where I live is that you have to put uh, leaves into transparent bags so that the garbage guys know that it's leaves and not anything else. So 
You see, that's a significant amount of leaves. Let's try it again. like an electric Toro Time Master. I love the two blades and the 26 inch wide, as well as the one lever, all four wheel height adjustment, five position, right? Uh, has a two LED light banks over here. You decide to mow at night. And uh, it actually worked pretty well. Um, the first pass we took, it did collect the bulk of the leaves, which is why it filled up so quickly. But even with the Time Master, the bag is about the same size. This one carries 18.2 gallons of leaves. So a couple of passes in very deep leaf collection is gonna fill up the bag pretty quickly. Uh, I rem The remaining part of the lawn was picked up by just the second bag and it didn't even fill up halfway. So it's the bulk of it that really clogged it, uh, filled it up fast. And it didn't clog at all actually. Um, Still has plenty of juice in it. Um, let's take a look and see. To release it, just lift the handle. And here's the battery itself. And let's take a look at how many bars. Still has three out of four bars. So it's got plenty of juice left. Uh, I used this for about 15 minutes or so. It's probably last for an hour's worth, depending on what you're mowing. A lot of grass, a little grass, just some leaves, whatever the condition it may be. There are eight inch wheels in the front and 10 inch wheels in the back. The whole machine weighs 76.2 um, pounds. So not very heavy uh, given the size of this machine. As you can see from the lawn, we went from this to that. All within 15 minutes or so, not bad at all. So I'm curious to see, will my PowerSmart 26 inch 80 volt battery from my lawnmower work in my 80 volt snowblower? Both 80 volts, they both look exactly the same. fantastic when you buy equipment from the power smart family as long as it's both 80 volts you have interchangeable batteries when your batteries are depleted it's easy to charge just slide this on and it goes from red to a flashing green when it becomes steady green you know that it's fully charged so this is the 80 volt 26 inch wide electric power smart push behind self-propelled lawnmower. It's pretty much of a beast, I will admit. And it makes, it reminds me of the Toro Time Master, which is an extremely uh, popular machine. Now, I will tell you though, that this thing costs a thousand dollars. Would you pay a thousand dollars for an electric lawnmower? 
I don't know if I would because I'm not quite convinced about the power of electric products. However, if you, as you saw recently from a review of this dual stage snowblower, it did really well with some very heavy slush. So maybe my mind can be changed because I was really impressed with the performance of this electric snowblower. It did a job that some gas machines won't do. This did pick up the leaves very quickly, but we have yet to see if it cuts really well. I don't see a problem because those two uh, spinning blades were very quick. I like it a lot actually, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with the performance so far. It hardly used any electricity from mowing my entire front lawn with leaves. It did take two bag changes, but the bag is all it is. If I could suggest you make a bigger bag so that you can carry more leaves, so you have to empty it less. But other than that, the safety features are good with it because I couldn't even figure out how to start the thing in the first place until I read the instructions. <laughs> but because of the safety features, you need them because it's electric. You can't hear anything, right? So you put your hand somewhere where you shouldn't. You have to make sure that you don't slice anything off because it's electric and it's quiet. With gas engines, you know it's on, so you won't touch it. But because it's so quiet, you have to take extra precautions, and their safety features are very good. Um, as you saw, one use of this thing, and the thing's filthy. Like I said, you can plug your uh, garden hose to this and just rinse it off. The good thing about electric is that there's no oil or gas to mess with. It's not messy, and all you need to do is remember that you have a freshly charged battery. Thank you, just put the battery in and go. There is no problems with ever it not starting. There's no winterizing. There's no mixture of any fluids of oil and gas. So that's the good thing about electricity. Also, if you're concerned about your carbon footprint and you wanna to try to contribute to saving the uh, environment and the planet, I'm all for that too. Uh, but the power and technology of electric power machines is evolving as we go. So far, so good. I like it a lot. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested. And thanks, Power Smart, for sending it to me. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you, see you guys, guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. And blowers.